Morning folks, and welcome back. I'm down by the River Thet this morning uh, to show you a water filter. This is the Lifesaver Liberty bottle. Now I was very kindly sent this bottle by Lifesaver to, to try out, um, and I've had a few opportunities now to, to test it, and, um, and so I think it's probably a good time to, to do a review on it. So here it is. It's, uh, it's really well constructed. It's got a kind of rubberized coating on it, um, and it's about the size of a, a water bottle. Um, because it is a water bottle. <laughs> uh, you can fill this up and you can store your, your water in there until you need it. It, it holds about 400 millilitres, but you know you can just keep refilling it as you go, go along. It's well constructed. It's got a replaceable cartridge filter inside, um, which uh, is good for up to 2,000 litres, obviously depending on uh, how dirty the water is you're filtering. It'll remove 99.999% of viruses, 99.9999% of bacteria, and 99.99% of cysts. So, you know, that'll be good for purifying uh, most water sources that you're likely to come across. It also has an active carbon filter inside as well to help remove odour and taste. So the filter has a protective cap on the top, um, which you remove and that protects the, the mouthpiece or the area where your clean water comes out of, and that's got a seal in it. So you just, uh, when you're filling it up, you can just tighten that up and uh, there's no risk of you contaminating the clean area with dirty water from the river or whatever your water source is. So that's a nice feature. And on the top there's a place where you can attach a carabiner so you can hang it off your pack. Directly underneath the cap uh, is this little valve here, but I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. So on the other end of the bottle you have uh, the pump. So this just, you just uh, literally twist it to, to release and that's where you pump to build up pressure. And again, I'll talk about that. That's related to the valve in a minute. And, um, and then the whole base unscrews as well um, so that you can fill it up. There's two different ways you can use this filter. So the first way is to make sure that that protective cap is tight and then to release the, the base of your filter and simply scoop water up into it and then replace the base. So that is now filled with water. You can see it there in the window. So that will be about 400 millilitres of water in there. So to access that water, you release the pump on the bottom, give it five pumps. Lock it back off again. Lifesaver recommends you don't give it more than five pumps so you don't risk overpressurizing the, the bottle. Then you just release the cap, protecting this area from the dirty river water and release the pressure to allow water flow. Now you can either drink directly from that and uh, that silicon cap there is just like the cap on your sort of sports water bottle so you can drink directly from it or you can do what I did and just direct the stream of water uh, into your mouth so there's, there's definitely no chance of, um, of any contamination. So that's the first and simplest way of using this filter and it's really handy because it's self-contained. You know, you just take that with you, you scoop up water, you drink, you fill it up, you drink, you fill it up and so on. Okay, really simple and, um, and it's all self-contained. But there is another way of using this filter um, and that's to, to use it as an inline filter to fill up water bottles, um, water bags, hydration bladders, etc. So along with the bottle, you also get uh, a bag containing a few other bits and pieces in. And uh, one of the things in here is this. This is a scavenger hose, and it's basically just a, a long clear piece of hose with a filter on the end. This is just a sediment filter and a, a foam float. So you can adjust the depth of where your, your filter goes. And all you do is you push that onto this little valve on the side of the bottle, like this. And then you can put that into your water source and pump away. So like I said, using it this way, it's acting like a, an inline filter. So you invert the filter this time, you release the protective cover, and um, it's designed to screw on to any wide mouth water bottle. So any of those sort of Nalgene style bottles will screw directly onto the bottom, and then you can just fill it. Especially if you use a clear bottle, um, you'll be able to see when it's full. It'll also fit onto most of these sort of dromedary bags. This is an Ortlib one which has a wide mouth uh, cap on it and 
as does the MSR one, they both fit it as well. If you haven't got a wide mouth bottle that'll screw on, you can, you can still use it this way. Obviously the jet of water, the stream of water will come out from the middle here, so you can collect that in any bottle. Um, but they've also included a little uh, outlet there so that you can push a length of this hose on. So if you were planning on using it that way you could sacrifice a few inches of, uh, of the hose that comes with it and you could poke that on there and then it would be much easier to feed that into any size bottle and, uh, and just fill it up. Attach my bottle, take your scavenger hose and put it in your water source. Remember the idea behind this float is to make sure that the, the end here with the, with the uh, sediment filter doesn't go right the way down to the bottom of your water source and just suck up all the nasty thick mud from the bottom. You then need to open the valve so it's pointing down and start pumping. And then once your bottle is full, just unscrew your filter, put the cap back on to make sure it doesn't get contaminated. And you've got a nice full bottle of water to drink. Yeah, it's nice. There's no, uh, there's no odor. There's no taste, it's completely clear. I know that's not an indication of uh, purity, but um, you know, it's nice not to have any nasty, unpleasant flavor going on in your water. Now I mentioned before that the cartridge in here has a 2000 uh, liter life. Um, now the problem with water filters in general is it's very difficult to, to keep track and know when you're approaching that 2000 liters or whatever the capacity is of the filter you're using. Now Lifesaver have come up with a really good fail safe. The cartridge is designed so that when it reaches that 2000 liters, it won't, it won't filter anymore. It won't allow any more water through. Um, so you know that you know, if it stops filtering, if, if water isn't coming through and it's not something clogging this filter here, then it's time to replace your cartridge. I think that's a really, really good fail safe um, and uh, you know, there's no chance that you could inadvertently go over that and end up drinking contaminated water. So yeah, really good feature. So a couple of other things just worth pointing out with the Liberty bottle. Um, when you first get it, you've got to prime it um, and you have to prime that with clean water. So it's best to do that at home uh, before you take it out on its first use. And it basically involves filling it up with tap water, um, pumping through, emptying it out completely, filling it up again, doing, it, doing the same thing again. There's full instructions on how to, on how to do that uh, with your bottle, but that's got to be done before your first use. Um, like I mentioned before, uh, they stress the importance of not over pumping it and over pressurizing the, um, the filter. Um, five pumps is all it takes to get the water flowing, um, and you'll have a much higher flow rate at first when the bottle is full. As the bottle empties out, then you'll have to give it a few more pumps just to maintain that flow rate. And the other thing is that you mustn't let the cartridge inside dry out. So between uses, if it's being stored, um, they recommend leaving a, a centimetre or half an inch of water uh, in the bottle, okay, just so that it keeps the, keeps the filter inside moist. So there you have it, the Liberty Bottle by Lifesaver. A good quality, decent, versatile filter system. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon. It's a